that's what needs to be done. And I've been called a sex witch, and I've been called a demon on the. <laughs> I love <laughs> and just eat all day. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Sounds so she like has to go on a celibate journey, eating too much, taking too much. When you're hot, you can just get do what you want. But now I'm a wife, so you can't just do this anymore. But I. I knew something was suspicious. I knew something something was off. <sighs> Used to throw it back quite a lot. On um, top dollar man, believe it or not. <laughs> man, you probably might know. <laughs> that are managing maybe your favorite artists. Interesting. You wanna say talk to me? You wanna talk to me? Talk to me. If you can't talk to me, then clearly my vibration is too high. <laughs> I have a million accents. Ni hao. That's Mama does what needs to be done, and I've been calling. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil, the devil want me to say some things, but I ain't gonna say it. The devil want me to say something, but I ain't gonna say it. Uh, more power to you, um, uh, queen. More power to you. So realistically, at 35 in Miami, how much do you want your man to make? Well, I make money myself, not bad, 150k, so I would anticipate him to make at least 200k. At least 200, because... I've had somebody who made less than me, and it still, I thought, would work out, but apparently in that situation, men sometimes feel like they are not men enough, and then they start compensating in some other things you know, trying to boost their ego in some other way. So for this time, I want to change it up and I actually would like some, to have somebody who makes either equal amount of money or more amount of money. I don't think your girl should make more money than you. And if you happen to get with a woman that make more money than you, if you love her, you would better yourself. If you love her, you would better yourself. It's some dudes out here that if they girl make more than them, instead of bettering themselves, they'll try to make her feel bad. And I'm not with that. But I, I, I want women to understand this, right? A lot of women, not all, but a lot, y'all like to spend. Women like to spend. If I go to Target to get some groceries, I'm going to Target for exactly what the hell I was going to Target for. I'm not picking up nothing else. If my wife go to Target for some groceries, she's coming back with a whole bunch of other shit. It's clothes outside that she done ordered. She done ordered something. And that's how a lot of women are. Now, I'm, I'm giving you that example to say, the more money a woman makes, the more she's going to want to spend. She's going to be trying to live the lifestyle of the money she makes. And it's an 80% chance that she expects you she expect you to be able to keep up. That's why I say if you want to be with her, you gotta make more money. If you're not willing to make more money, find somebody in your tax bracket. Do you think it's the same thing for a man? Where if he's making 150, he's gonna expect his woman to meet him equal or more? No. Some men uh, who are making good money, they might be looking for something else rather than money in women. That's a fact. For example, the feminine, feminine energy, energy. Yep. and those women fact. maybe sometimes don't make money, but 
there is a trade-off, their energy, they're, they're, they're giving something else rather than, you know, uh, that equality. So realistically, at 35 in Miami... She knew what she was talking. If you feel any type of way about what she just said, you need to check your pockets. You need to leave! You need to leave! <laughs> you need to leave! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this is not funny. You don't know what people be going through. You do not know what people be going through. You don't know how that accident could possibly affect this man's life. Bro. Yeah, yeah, one moment. Let's go, man. Hey, no problem. No, no, bro. Bro. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, let me show you something. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, let me show you something. Hey, no, 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 that's a free body. Y'all y'all might judge me. Y'all could judge me all y'all want, man. That's a free body. They gonna zip his ass up and, and, and wheel his ass up out of there. I don't care if you white, black, Hispanic, Asian, Indian. I don't care. Then again, I ain't gonna shoot you. I'm gonna beat your ass. I ain't gonna shoot you. I ain't gonna throw my life away for you. Because you want to be a, a Karen. The audacity. I haven't come across this situation yet. As a grown man who pay taxes and mortgage, if I'm walking through my community, a male Karen was to approach me and, and ask me, what am I doing in this neighborhood? Because I, I do live around the white folks, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm beating your ass. You got me hot, bro. That shit just got me hot because the Mexican people don't be bothering nobody. <laughs> that last part, I don't know how they like hop on each other's back. You need come teach me ASAP. Help me! Oh my! Wait a minute. That last part, I don't know how they like hop on each other's back. You need come teach me ASAP. Help me! Oh my! That last part, I don't know how they like hop on each other's back. You need come teach me ASAP. Help me! Oh my! I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That that recoil. That recoil was crazy. Since when white cheeks had start having recoil like that? So, like, if you're a guy with a hundred body count, or you're a female with a hundred body count, you're still a whore. I don't believe. No, no you're not. Can be a whore. Men are whore makers. No, Why can't man be a whore? So let me ask you a question. Me and you playing Mortal Kombat. I'm playing it on hard mode, but I beat the game. You play it on easy mode, and you beat the game. Who has more respect out of the two of us? I mean, you obviously. Do. Because mm -hmm. I played it on hard mode, right? So that's the difference between men and women. Men play sex on hard mode. Women play sex on easy mode. It's mm -hmm. not respect. Ooh, ooh. He preaching. He is preaching. That's a fact. I'm gonna I'm let I'm gonna let him finish. I'm gonna let him finish. I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. That's a fact. Respectful. We don't respect you, right? So therefore, we call them whores. A man has sex with three women. It was hard to do. You had to put in that work to get that. And I'll take it a step further, right? Think about in society, all the jobs that build the infrastructure in America pays more. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Those four industries 
pay the most because they literally build the infrastructure of the society. Now think about a bartender or someone working at a call center. They don't get paid that much, but the person that is building something, an architect, an engineer, those people get paid a whole lot more. Their salaries are just higher because the harder something is, the more respect you get, which means it's more monetary gain. The easier something is, you don't get a lot of respect. The janitor, they don't get paid that much. The principal, he gets paid a whole lot. Maybe the janitor be even does more work than the principal, but it takes more competence to be a principal than it does to be a janitor. So it's a competence level as well. So there's multiple factors, multiple ways where I could break it down, which a woman is a whore, a man is a whore maker. He said it all. He said it all. He, he, he. Whoa! Woo! He wiped the floor with them. Because I, I don't want... I got women on here. I got female subscribers. And I, I don't want y'all to, you know, come at my neck. The one thing I'm going to add to that, though, is the amount of time your girl go out on the street and she get approached by males. If the roles were reversed and women approach men the same way... Our body counts would be off the charts. I feel as though if women approach men the way men approach women, bro, it would be so much STDs out here. It would be so, many, so much kids out here. At the same time, as somebody who has been out here in these streets, I can tell you that it's a nigga out here that can fuck your bitch. So don't, don't, think, don't think your woman is not fuckable. It's it's a, somebody out here that has the keys to your girl lock. She just hasn't come across, came across him yet. We had a big party, Paris, me and Russell Simmons smoked weed in the bathroom. Drake was there. I was sitting on his lap. He wasn't Drake yet. A young Drake, yeah. This he was Aubrey Drake. Graham still. Mm -hmm. But he came with my girl Chanel. They're all signed to Young Money. I was sitting on his lap. He was kind of hollering at me, and I was like... This guy behind me is hollering at me. Chanel's telling me he's going to be big, but Omarion's over there, and I love Omarion. Imagine, tough call on your head. imagine passing on Drake for Omarion. <laughs> That's a tough call on your head. And by the way, this is before, like, you can't even find this photo on the internet, but the photo does, this is my assistant, the photo does exist, yes? Okay, and I'm literally on Drake's <laughs> lap, and I'm, like, holding hands, looking up at Omarion, like, in love, and I'm like, that was the biggest fumble you ever had, don't ever. And by we're both named Aubrey, by the way, mm -hmm. which is like, I just went to the concert and I was watching him thinking to myself, like, I could have fucked him. This yeah, he's horrible. the best. He's awesome. At a big party, Paris, me and... I don't really got too many words for that. Um, you skipped out on... Okay.